we need to discuss this thing to get an idea of control of floods we generally design a heavy structures like dam bridges and culverts for a at least design life of 100 years suppose in that 100 years a flood occurs that may affect our structure so it's necessary to study frequency of rainfall and probability so let's begin and let's start suppose on today's date or any particular date there was a continuous rainfall for 24 hours at that rainfall is of 30 centimeter so these 30 centimeter kind of rainfall frequently don't occur this kind of condition is known as flood what happened in Kerala in 2018 so these uh, kind of condition generally not occur frequently don't occur and that condition is called flood if I can write that this kind of rainfall occur at least once in 10 years so this kind of rainfall occur at least once in 10 years so can I tell that for 100 years this rainfall can occur in 10 times can I say that at least once in 10 years for 100 years can I say that it can occur 10 times no I can't tell that that's why we have to study further because we can't say actually it can generate for 10 times it can be more it can be less so let's begin and discuss all those mathematical terms so let's discuss the thing whatever i tell you to remember just remember those things this is a small thing and important thing we don't have to remember the entire thing whatever i am telling you to remember just focus on that thing so let's begin what is return period return period means this is the average time interval between the occurrence of rainfall of magnitude equal to or in excess of specified magnitude what do you mean by this suppose from this example I have told you that this kind of rainfall occur at least once in 10 years so what is 10 years this 10 years is known as return period and that is denoted as T so I can write that T equal to 10 so don't remember the entire definition just remember what is return period at least for a given specified year if it is mentioned in question that will be return period it is the average time interval between the occurrence of rainfall of magnitude equal to or in excess of specified magnitude so return period for 10 years so t equal to 10 what is probability probability means it is denoted as p the probability of rainfall whose magnitude is equal to or in excess of a specified magnitude having a return period of t occurring in a given year suppose in a particular year it is asked us to find probability just remember the thing that probability p equal to 1 by t just remember this thing and that will help so next begin with our further terms we'll discuss briefly after explain you the things what you have to do just pause the video and write the things which I have written in the board so that will help you and that thing only you have to remember so let's move further what is Q Q is the probability of rainfall not occurring in a given year and that is denoted as Q equal to 1 minus P you have to remember this thing so pause the video and write this thing next the probability of rainfall occurring r times in n successive years that is given as prn and what is prn prn equal to ncr into p to the power r into q to, q to the power n minus r and you know ncr equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial next the probability of rainfall not occurring at all in n successive years that is given as p equal to r equal to 0 because not occurring at all so r will be 0 
and n equal to q to the power n and this q to the power n is also known as reliability and this reliability equal to q to the power n so if in the exam he has asked us to find reliability so you just have to put reliability equal to q to the power n and to this q equal to 1 minus p so reliability equal to 1 minus p to the power n 1 minus p to the power n next probability of rainfall occurring at least once in n successive years this is very important term and each exam this can be asked and this is known as a risk probability of rainfall occurring at least once in n successive years is known as risk and risk is given as 1 minus q to the power n so risk equal to 1 minus q to the power n so just note the things so this concludes this small chapter the chapter is small but it is very important for the exam point of view you just have to remember all those things in exam a question will be asked and you just have to put the formula and get the answer in the next video we'll solve all those get questions asked from this portion so meet you in the next class please subscribe and share with your friends thank you and take care